hey, do you want to change the textures to your Fortnite models or stuff like that? Just so you can like, you know, create custom skins in Blender. Well, I'm here to help. So what you need to do first is open your model. You can either get models from like, I have a link in the description for some models, but you can get them anyway. Anyway, you got a model, even like import it yourself, stuff like that. As long as you got the model, I'm going to use Commando for example. So get your model, and then you're going to need a new uh, model. If you have the AES key, that's good. You know you're ready set up. If you don't have U model, there'll be a link in the description to get U model, and you'll need an AES key. Uh, there's a Discord I'm in, and they like update the AES key. I'll uh, I'll put that in the description as well. So make sure you get U model with the AES key ready to go. Now you're in U model. What you're going to need to do is find the skin that you you're using. So mine's Commando. So you're gonna go down here to game characters. Uh, player female bodies, so you're gonna get the actual the player bodies, which is what we're changing in this tutorial So it's over here, and there's all the skins the skin bit right here. It's all the textures for uh, This the basically the, the default kind of thing So what you need to do go down here find the one that you need and then go here Which is your textures. This is what we're gonna be changing. So obviously this is commando, which is the same thing there We're gonna edit this so what you need to do now is export it and remember why I've exported it. So I'll see you in my uh, photo editing program. You can use anything, but I'm going to use Photoshop for all this tutorial. Now you're in Photoshop and you've opened your your texture. What you're going to need to do is, I don't know, whatever you want. You could do whatever you want in this bit. Uh, I'm just going to put uh, my logo, well, not my logo, just text with my name on it and put it somewhere. I'm going to make it white just so, you know, it's easier to see. Um, and I'll resize it. I do recommend that you, this line here, with my mouse, that you don't put it in between both of them if you're doing the image or something like that, because that never normally looks good, like when it's actually on the character. So just remember stuff like that, especially the legs as well. It actually goes round the legs, not like a flat image. Just remember that when editing it. Now, I'm okay, I'm just gonna put it uh, right here. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller, because remember this body does wrap around, because it is a body, not a straight flat image like I said. So I'm just going to put that there and I'm also going to just uh, change the colour to white, get a paintbrush and put a white thing there. Just you know, just so you know I've changed it, just so it's easier to tell. So now what we're going to do is you're going to save it and you're going to save it where somebody can remember because you need to do this part for Blender. So now I'm here, I'm going to save it. Make sure you save it as a uh, target or a TGA, .TGA. It doesn't really matter, but I just recommend doing it as it's what it came as. I don't really know, but I'm just going to save it like that anyway. And it always does work. So I'm going to replace it. Yep. So now you've saved this. So now you're going to need to open this in Blender. Now we're in Blender, we're going to go to the shading tab. Go here, and then go down to your actual character's model, not the, the bit where you pose it, just the model. So now you're going to go to right here, where it says Commando 01, which is going to be the body. So make sure you don't mess with uh, this thing, which is the normal map and the spectral map. You, just, you don't need to change that. You need to just change this one, which is connected to base color. So delete that by clicking X or right click and delete. Right here. So now, this is where you need to remember where you saved it. Copy the directory of where the file you saved was in here. Okay, now I've done that, drag this over here. Make sure this is on color and not and not non-color data. Color is what you need. Now put this here to here. That should be it. That should be all you need to do. So now in here, as you can see, it's changed. You can see it says the logo I put on there and the white spot I put on the back. You could do that for anything. You can change whatever you want. You can also change the hair by doing the exact same method and going to where the hair was in your model and then changing that and then doing the same process again. Here's an example of what I've made doing the exact method and what I've just done and I've added the lights and everything to make it look better. And it does, you know, you could do anything basically. So now you've done that, you can either add lights, do whatever you want, pose it, and you're good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial, it's a quick easy one. Uh, share it with friends who need to do this or whatever. <laughs> like it so more people can see it and uh, yeah, hope it's helpful. See you guys in the next one. Peace.